So this is log pusher in action. What we're going to do here is use log pusher to generate a log file and send it to an open telemetry collector. The open telemetry collector needs the HTTP receiver enabled, which let's be honest is pretty much a, a standard by now. Um, and then the collector can forward that on to wherever you like. So in this case, it's going to be Loki. So as always, you've got a killer coder demo. Um, to play with. Thank you very much for Killer Coder uh, for providing the infrastructure. So if we just hit start, uh, everything's already set up for you. You can just run log pusher. Now log pusher comes as a Python file, a Docker image as I'm using here, or it comes as a, a CI pipeline ready Docker image. Uh, you can see I'm pointing it to my endpoint, my open telemetry collector, and just giving it some content. And then we're getting a 200 OK response back from um, the collector. That proves that the log line has got successfully from log pusher to the collector. And let's now see if it got from the collector to Loki. So I'm going to push another log uh, with some attributes. So foo and bar, if you don't specify, uh, log pusher assumes that the value is a string. If you do specify, like in the user ID, uh, it will actually be that that type. So it will be an integer in this case. So let's open Grafana and see what we can see. And there you go. We have, this is my log line, and then the second push that I sent um, with the attributes all sorted and in Grafana ready for you to use. So that's the point of log pusher is really just to be a general purpose log generation and emission tool that, that now you can you can log from anywhere. I'll, I'm going to do another video because you can also specify span and trace IDs. So you can actually tie this in with any open telemetry traces that you push. If you're interested in open telemetry traces, check out Trace Pusher, the kind of companion app to this. Uh, but there you are, Log Pusher version 0.1.0. .0.